Good afternoon. God bless you and the family. The purpose of this video, I'm out of boredom and due to the fact that the original intake manifold valley pan gasket change didn't go too well. The shop actually had bad leaks here and bad leaks here. As you can see from this damage where it is burned because exhaust was leaking out of here. But I did this myself. <clears throat> it's done correctly now. And as I was tightening, I'll call it bolt number four. One, two, three, four. The base plate of the carburetor broke again. The first one happened about eight or nine years ago. It broke on both sides of the passenger side. This broke, well, the one I have upstairs, it broke, um, passenger side again but in the front the new holly base plate arrives uh tuesday of this week that's another two days from now two days from today as well as the gaskets etc and i have the carburetor actually home upstairs uh waiting for the base plate so once that's on i'll bring the carburetor back out here put it back on the motor connect the throttle cable I have to get a taller brace. It stands up about another two inches, which I already have it picked out. Um, I just didn't order it yet. That will allow my cable, instead of going like this, in this sort of an angle, it'll be more evened out. But this is the plate for the throttle. It's just sitting up here temporarily, blocking the entrance to the motor. But anyway, uh, oh, also, with the headlights blinking, it said that it could be your alternator. So eventually the alternator failed. This is the brand new alternator I put on, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five days ago. Haven't started the motor yet, obviously. And I have the fuel catch can here for a couple of days, fuel began to just seep out without anyone touching the car, as if the um, electric fuel pump was turned on, but battery's off and it was not. So anyway, I'm very excited. When that new um, base plate come and the blue gaskets to go with it, I think they're Barry, yeah, Barry Grant blue reusable gaskets. Uh, I'm gonna be happy, happier. <laughs> and also here, I'm gonna run a light bead, very, very light bead along here of the red RTV, just to make super sure I have everything nice and tight. But I really like the way I did this intake manifold, uh, valley pan gasket change, I, I really like this. And that's about it. I just wanted to update you guys with some sort of video. Ain't nothing wrong, I've been living my life, writing my novel, drawing the art for my novel, and um, very happy thanks to the grace of God. That's it for now. You guys have a great week ahead. And as soon as the car is running with the, um, you know, new carburetor base plate and the gaskets. Oh, <laughs> I also ordered an open plenum one inch spacer. This is the one inch spacer, four hole. Open plenum will be much better. <clears throat> Chris Galen. The guide informed me about that, so I ordered the um, aluminum, and it has the poured out back here for an additional uh, vacuum accessory, which I don't have or need right now, but I'm just going to plug it up. But that's it. That's definitely it. I just wanted to show you guys this also. That's, that's coming also, the new open plenum instead of the four-hole uh, spacer for the carburetor. And it's aluminum, if I did not say that. But anyway, that's about it. So far, so good. God bless you and your entire family. Peace.